Hatha, Raja, Karma, Juana, Kriya, and Bhakti. For over 5,000 years, these systems of yoga have been the main variations practiced around the world. Until now. Go Yoga is where people go to either an indoor studio, outdoor enclosure, or a park and do yoga with goats climbing all over them. To an outsider like me, this trend just seemed like the next in a long line of superficial social media fads. I needed to find out what all the fuss was about. But first, I got in touch with the founder of Goat Yoga, Lainey Morse, to find out where she thinks goats are the best animals for yoga and how it got so popular. They have this um, quality about them it's just calm and they possess all these traits that humans have a hard time obtaining. They're calm, um, you know, they, they eat only what they need, they're um, funny, they're mischievous and so they make you laugh and so I think it's just all that combination that makes them a great therapy animal. Feel where your sitting bones are in contact with the earth. But I just want to say, the hard part of LA is that most of the time these people bring their goats inside yoga studios. And that is absolutely against my rules. <laughs> because I think when you make the goats go into the human world, which is a studio with lights and, you know, just not outside or in a barn, it makes it look like a circus. Before heading over to my first yoga event, I wanted to talk to a local yoga instructor to see what she thought about goats participating in yoga with people. People are adding goats to yoga as props to make it more exciting. Yoga is about being zen and finding your inner self. I've been doing yoga since I was eight years old and I've been teaching for the last four years. I think that goat yoga is definitely just a hipster trend. It seems like it's gonna go away over the next two years. It came very quickly, it was a huge rage, and I think it's gonna pass just as fast. I think including goats in yoga is just missing the entire point. Yoga is about centering yourself and taking time to be one in whatever space you're in, and adding goats is really taking away from your overall experience. If you're adding goats to yoga to make yoga more exciting, then you're missing the point. I still needed to see for myself what this is all about. Taking Lainey's advice into account, I avoided any classes held at an indoor studio and headed over to a special Halloween yoga event at a local urban farm. And allow yourself to come all the way back. Imagine that you're moving. It's being the change inside of this farm that's so easy because the authenticity of the goats allows us to leave our judgments and ego outside the farm and come into our happy place, which is authenticity. So people have asked us, why pajamas? Why costumes? It's still a business. It's marketing. At the end of the day, we want to have people come back or, or come to our program as opposed to going somewhere else. So we have found little novel ways to encourage people to come and participate. And being that it's Halloween right now, Halloween costumes would be I the ideal hey guys, order of the day. Uh, there's no judgment. From your front body, the yin and yang. Here's where you find yeah. And then one more time, just because we people come to goat yoga because they're coming for the Instagram photo, they're coming for the experience, for the bucket list experience. But when they get here, at least for us, for our goat yoga. I think they just make a connection. It's why we have people come and come and bring friends and do it again. We also look forward to working uh, with other organizations as people recognize that a goat can also be a service animal in the same way that a horse can or that a dog can. And you know, one day we think it would be a great thing with military and PTSD, having them come and just do goat yoga. Um, with their families. That was an interesting point. I had not even considered the fact that goats could be used as therapy animals. 
so today we were planning on shooting goat yoga in Pasadena in Brookside Park, but there is almost an issue with the weather. Thank you so much. So Tammy told me to bring... It was still threatening that it's going to rain between 10 and 11 and, well, 10 and 12. Can you believe it? Now we're here, it probably won't, but <laughs> yes. Okay. So do you the next event I chose to investigate was a charity fundraiser put on by a local physical therapy practice to try and figure out if Danette's therapy idea had any substance or if there was something even deeper to that. Definitely having the, the, uh, a 35 pound goat or a 45 pound goat jumping onto your back when you're taking some of those poses, you, your core definitely engages more. Obviously it's not a static weight, you know, the, the goats are moving and they're walking on you and they're moving and so that weight is shifting all the time and so your muscles and your core do have to work with that so it's a little more unpredictable than just a static weight so it's definitely very very challenging and it adds to that exercise and definitely ups the intensity <laughs> I looked at, at uh, putting the event on actually at our clinic, which is an indoor clinic. For me, having participated in goat yoga previously in an outdoor location, it was that connection to nature that just really made it more special. So just being on the grass, having the trees around, and just, just being within nature just really adds to the whole effect of doing the goat yoga class. I think it is definitely a very positive thing. I think if people could um, interact with the goats like the people did today, it just lifts everybody's spirits. It's so nice to have that interaction with, with nature and with these creatures who are just, they have such different personalities and it's just, it's just a fun event. After attending two of these classes, I was starting to realize that there was a bit more behind this. But I wanted to make sure that it wasn't just my opinion. So I talked to some people after the class. I, I was really skeptical. Going into it, did you think it was like just a gimmick? Like you didn't 100%. <laughs> and, it, and it is, but it's fun. It brought yoga into a new light, I think. I would actually try yoga again because of this. So regular yoga, I think it's more intense. It's more, you know, relaxation, meditation, more concentration on the moves, meditation. Um, I think this is a little bit more light. It's more laughter. Obviously, you're interacting with goats, so you're going to be laughing and having a lot of fun. So I think this is more interactive. I still think it was, they were good at stretching. So I think that helped a lot, too. I was very skeptical. I thought I was going to get kicked by one of those goats. I think it was more of like a spiritual thing, too, because of the goats. I think the goats definitely made the yoga experience a lot better. And um, yeah, when the goats uh, hit my pressure points, A+. Plus. And then inhale that arm back up. During the making of this film, I had a death in my family. And I can say that the two times that I was happy were at Lavenderwood Farms and at the event with Spanky and Pippin. No matter what else was happening in my life, when a goat came over to me, I instinctively started petting it and started to feel better. Even through all the ridiculousness of costumes, there was a benefit to being around these goats out in nature. I had originally thought that this was an activity exclusively for the hipster trend chasers looking for their next big likes on Instagram, but there may actually be something behind this. Mm -hmm.